The following is a presentation of TFNN. The Trader's Edge with your host, Steve Rhodes. Good morning, all you wonderful money masters and treasure hunters. Welcome to the April 2nd, terrific Tuesday edition of today's opening bell on the Trader's Edge. I'm your host, Steve Rhodes, and thanks so much for joining me, folks. I absolutely treasure your presence here today, and my outcome, as always, is to help you to become a better money master and to provide you with the tools that each of us need in order to lead an inspired life. Because leading an inspired life, folks, that is what it's all about. So let's go take a look at one of our tools. This is the tool I call Become Your Own Electrician. You know, all personal breakthroughs begin with a change in our beliefs, our belief system. So how do we change our beliefs, you ask? And that's a good question. Well, the most effective way is to get our brain to associate massive pain to our old belief, to our limiting belief, to the belief that, you know, we want to be able to change the belief that is getting in the way of our breakthrough. Think about that, folks. Think about that for a second. The way that we... Effect, we've just got to effectively get our brain to associate massive pain to our old belief system. Now, this next sentence is really key. This next sentence is key to moving forward towards the breakthrough that you desire. We must first feel deep in our gut that not only has our limiting belief system cost us pain in the past, but it's costing us in our present, and ultimately, it can be the thing that leads to failure in the future and cause massive pain it is as if we must go through that charles dickens process in a christmas carol we have to see things we have to see all the things that have gotten in the way of our ability to move forward all of our limiting beliefs that have gotten in the way of us becoming the person that we want to become and most importantly we must see the pain that our limiting belief system has caused we must see the real cost not worse than it is not better than it is just simply the way that it is. We then must see ourselves doing these same things over and over again, not making any changes, not taking any massive action to change who we are, and we must project that into the future. Remember, the past does not equal the future unless you want it to, unless we continue with our same patterns. You know, we talk about pattern recognition. We take a look at stock charts. We're going to do that in just a, a few moments here. Each of us can simply take stock of ourselves, though. We need to look at and take stock of ourselves and take a look at, you know, our own stock chart out there, our own pattern recognition. We're creatures of habit. We're creatures of rituals. We're creatures of patterns out there. All personal breakthroughs, they come when we decide we no longer want that pain. We no longer want to continue with that same old pattern. And we know that deep in our gut that these patterns have cost us pain in our past, cost us pain today, and will cost us pain in the future. We are, folks, our own electricians of our own life. Rewire your system and achieve the breakthroughs you desire. Rewire your belief system so that you can associate tremendous pleasure to the idea of adopting a new, empowering belief. Let's go take a look at the electricians in the marketplace out here. Right now, we've got the uh, Dow futures up about 56 points. I guess fair market value, that's a pop of about 20 points or so, maybe about 26 points. S&P futures trading up six points right now. That would make a pop of about, uh, looks like maybe about five points or so, four or five points. you got Dow futures trading up 16 points out at 2804. Russell 2000 futures up about uh, six. King dollar on the move this morning. King dollar up seven ticks. The euro back about 16, trading out at 128.40. We've got uh, gold off 15 bucks. Silver down 27 cents right now. You've got gold trading out at 15.85. We'll take a look at the gold chart. Silver trading down below the uh, uh, its uh, most recent swing point, uh, and uh, that's trading down 27 cents out at 27.67. Light sweet crude off 66 cents right now, trading out at 96. 42. Our call in number is 877-927-6648. Give us a call if you are listening in on the TFNN.MOBI or the radio. Thanks so much for doing that. Remember, you can always watch the live stream of this show on Tiger TV. Just simply go to the homepage of TFNN.com. Over on the right-hand side, you'll see a little button there. It's got three little smartphones. Click on that, folks. And if you do that, you'll get this show streaming live. You can always catch the archive of this show 
on Channel 9. Let's go take a look here at the ES Mini, at the 30-minute uh, chart. Let's go see what it is that we are looking at. You can see an area of real resistance here. Uh, let's go put a uh, black line across the uh, top of that. That's right around the uh, price level. Somewhere we're going to call it right about 15, 64, 50-ish. That was the 4 p.m. close on March the uh, 28th. We can see here price moving up into that area. A little shooting star was actually right here at about 8 in the morning yesterday. So let's actually move that down just a, a tad there. There's really your resistance level. Now, I'm not talking about this candle right here that came in at uh, 10 a.m. That was not a, a shooting star. If you look a little bit further back to your left, you got this little bearish engulfing here at 9 a.m., little shooting star at 8 a.m., uh, this morning, a little bit of a bearish engulfing right here coming into the 7 a.m. session here this morning. A little bit larger bearish engulfing candle right here at 8.30. So we can see this black horizontal line going across our screen. That is the uh, resistance area set up on the 30-minute chart for the ES Mini. We also see the ES Mini getting into that overbought condition coming in about 6.30 this morning. Has just moved sideways to slightly lower. Needs to really work that condition off a bit further either by moving sideways, moving lower, before it tries to uh, take on and uh, run towards this resistance level. You know, we're going to take a look at resistance levels today. Looking at our uh, stock charts here, we're going to look at the resistance level inside the 30-year treasury. We're going to look at it inside uh, gold. We're going to look at support structures inside gold. We'll take a look at resistance inside the uh, uh, Great British Pound U.S. dollar currency pair. But first, let's go take a look at the index futures. Let's go to the larger scale out here. Let's go take a look at the uh, daily chart see what we have going on here on the daily chart so let's go back over to the es mini we know that is really the kingpin here in the marketplace as the s p still wants to try to tag its swing point high if we take a look at yesterday's action inside the es mini you had the bears coming back to work after their holiday weekend out there the bears forming a little bearish engulfing candle yesterday so that sets up the next resistance level at the high of yesterday which is 1565 right now trading at 1562 and a quarter uh, so far during the overnight and early morning session out here you've gotten up to or the s p mini futures have gotten up to 1563.75 uh, so they have not taken on uh, the uh, top of yesterday's high not at least as of yet i do suspect that we will at least see that take place we also know that we've got a, a little bit of a, a nice support level all the way down here we're going to use the high of february 20th right at about the 1530 mark out there i do have a little note here it says a close above 1552.50 and that breaks a, a resistance level and that most certainly did but yesterday set up a new resistance level by a bearish engulfing candle out there. So that's on your ES Mini. Uh, let's go take a look at the other daily charts out here. Let's go take a look at the Russell 2000. Russell 2000 out here. Let me just pull this down off of the uh, chart here. If you're watching on Tiger TV, Russell 2000, you're seeing a, norm, uh, a, num a number of reversal patterns. So it's got a lot of resistance to uh, work through. First of all, it's got a, a little uh, bearish engulfing candle. Uh, that came in uh, right. Uh, let me uh, refresh my screen here. Give me a, a moment. I want to just make sure I've got all of the uh, active uh, data out here. We had a little bearish engulfing candle right here. That's this red line going across my screen. The top of that is 948.40 out there. You had a, a little uh, dark cloud cover candle coming in uh, right here as well on March the uh, 21st, that bearish engulfing. If I didn't say the date on it, that was March the uh, 19th out there. And then you had a little bear sash candle yesterday, big one. So now what you can see here is take a look at the resistance level, the tug of war, up one day, down the next day. Take a look at the tug of war. We can see the battle uh, going on inside the Russell 2000. You've got the support, even with yesterday's bear sash candle, what we can see, and even with the bearish engulfing candle from March 19th, well, we can see it running into the uh, resistance, the support level now of February 20th high. That level is 933.20 out there. So we can see a tight range anywhere between 933.20 on the futures up to really about the high of uh, March 28th, 950 out there. So we can see the uh, war, that's uh, the battle that's going on right now. We're seeing as a bit of a uh, bounce here in the uh, marketplace inside the Russell as uh, well. But, uh, you know, the Russell is actually looking weaker than than most of the other indexes out there, certainly the futures contracts. Let's go take a look at the NASDAQ futures. Let's take a look at the NQ here. Right now you've got the NQ trading out at a price point of 2804. Let's go look, see what kind of uh, candles 
uh, we can find out here in the marketplace. And yesterday was a uh, bear sash candle. So you can see this red line going across our screen out here. You had a little bearish engulfing candle on March the 12th. You had a bear sash candle yesterday. We had a little swing point out here, uh, the swing point here on March the 8th. On March the 8th, that high is 28.17. So 28.17 really being the uh, a resistance line inside the uh, NASDAQ futures. Of course, you've got that point seven eight six Gartley pattern that still is in uh, place out here. Has not been able to uh, bust it up, at least not bust it up yet. We'll see if it's got any energy. But we know that you've got a pretty strong area uh, where the uh, bears are hanging out, uh, protecting, for whatever reason, protecting this 28.17 level. That's on your NASDAQ futures. Let's go in and take Take a look at the uh, daily chart on the uh, Dow futures. Right now, you got the Dow futures trading out at 14,544. Let's pull this uh, stock chart up here on the uh, screen. And really, you don't see any kind of uh, bearish candles out here. In fact, what you really see on the uh, daily chart here of the uh, of the uh, Dow is that it actually wants higher price. And that's what we're seeing here this morning. 877-927-6648. We'll be right back. It's better when we're together Yeah, it's always better when we're together What type of investor are you? conservative, moderate, or aggressive. No matter your investor personality, your overall portfolio should reflect your financial goals, time horizon, and your risk tolerance. Help ensure your portfolio is appropriately invested with an asset allocation plan from Morgan Stanley Wealth Management. Simply picking the right stocks is not enough. Research has shown that choosing the right proportions of stocks, bonds, and cash is essential to the success of your long-term investments. Morgan Stanley believes a carefully selected portfolio can lower volatility and increase investment return potential. Find out about what an asset allocation and a Morgan Stanley Wealth Management financial advisor can do for you. Call Angela O'Brien, first vice president and financial planner of the Clearwater, Florida branch at 727-441-6108 today to discuss your personal financial needs. Asset allocation does not assure a profit or protect against loss in declining financial markets. Investments and services are offered through Morgan Stanley Wealth Management, LLC. Member SIPC. With the launch of Tiger TV, TFNN has brought our programming to the next level. With Tiger TV, you can gain access to each host's charts and computer screens as they host their daily stock program. Whether it's Tom O'Brien, Steve Rhodes, Basil Chapman, Ken Shreve, David White, Larry Pesavento, Victor Jones, or Daryl Martin, you can catch all of our technicians hosting their programs live and archived on Tiger TV for your viewing pleasure 24 hours a day, 7 days a week. If you haven't checked out Tiger TV, then visit TFNN.com and see what you're missing. McEwen Mining is a high-growth, mid-tier producer in the Americas with a market capitalization of $1 billion. Experienced mining executive Rob McEwen, as chairman, CEO, and president, owns 25% of the outstanding shares of McEwen Mining and has put in place an ambitious business plan with the goal of qualifying for inclusion in the S&P 500 by 2015. With $70 million in cash and liquid assets as of the end of 2012 and completely debt-free, McEwen Mining is poised for growth. Production in 2013 is forecasted to grow at 24%, reaching 130,000 gold equivalent ounces. And over the next three years, McEwen Mining projects that their production will increase to 290,000 gold equivalent ounces, almost a three-fold increase from last year's totals. If you'd like to find out more about McEwen Mining, click on their banner on the front page of TFNN.com or check them out on the NYSE or TSX under the symbol MUX. Are you looking for a precision edge in the market? Something that can stack the odds in your favor? Then look into Larry Pesavento's new trading newsletter, Patterns, Profits, and Peace of Mind. In each weekly issue, Larry explains what's going to happen in the markets based on the pattern he sees developing and gives you actionable trade ideas based on those patterns. Plus, you'll get his detailed analysis on a variety of markets and sectors, including stocks, treasury bonds, the gold market, oil, the dollar, the forex market, and more. And you'll get the Technical Corner segment, which is a short but powerful weekly training session on trading. You'll get access to all the patterns Larry is seeing in the markets, plus the Astro Harmonics and powerful Bradley stock market model that Larry utilizes for less than $5 a day. An extremely potent combination that will give you just the edge you've been looking for. Try patterns, profits, and peace of mind absolutely free for two weeks. Go to TFNN.com and click on the free trial link at the top of the page. That's an $85 value, yours free when you register right now. Get Larry's patterns, profits, and peace of mind and get the edge you've been looking for. 
Many of our new listeners have heard about the Tiger's Den, but wondered, what exactly is it? The Tiger's Den is a lively community where professional traders and investors can meet, exchange ideas and information, in a comfortable, moderated atmosphere. Hear all of your favorite TFNN shows, plus see all the charts as they happen, live, during those shows, and have access to all those charts. You can test drive the Tiger's Den, absolutely free, for 30 days. It will greatly enrich your knowledge of these markets. Details on the Tiger's Den are on the front page of TFNN.com. This segment is brought to you by Backtech Environmental. For more information, just click the Backtech banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Mm, it's always better when we're together. Yeah, we'll look at them stars when we're together. Well, it's always better when we're together. Yeah, it's always better when we're together. Absolutely is, folks. Welcome back. Uh, popping in the uh, pre-market here. You got Humana. Humana closed at 75.02 uh, yesterday. Uh, they're the leader in the uh, clubhouse to the upside. Uh, Apple, the leader in the clubhouse to the downside. Let's go down the street to our man Tom in uh, Tampa. Tom, thanks for calling. Thanks for holding. How are you this morning? Hey, good. Uh, good, Steve. How are you? Excellent. Thank you. You wanted to take a look at the uh, Japanese yen? Yeah, did you uh, did you get your trade off? You had mentioned you're looking for that uh, price point down there around that ninety three eleven, ninety three thirteen area. I did not go ahead and uh, place the trade. Let's go take a look at the uh, sixty minute chart that uh, Tom is uh, referring to here. Now, when we take a look at this sixty minute chart, really setting up a, a nice uh, Gartley uh, pattern, at Gartley buy that was at ninety three fourteen. And what you can see here, Tom, as uh, price was moving down into that 93.14 level, it actually did it at about uh, midnight, around 11 o'clock, 11 12 o'clock last night. And as it was moving down there, no bullish uh, candle uh, that had, in fact, what you had was a, a continuation candle that took place on that. I'm looking at a 60-minute chart on the uh, U.S. dollar Japanese uh, yen. That was uh, what I was really trading the pattern off of. And if you take a look at the uh, candle formation at a uh, 11 o'clock there, kind of a wide-ranging bar down. I mentioned this yesterday when we were on the uh, radio show that we were taking a look at a number of wide-ranging bars uh, down uh, inside the uh, U.S. dollar uh, Japanese yen, and that makes you say, hmm, hold on a minute here. Let me see where price is really moving to. And you had an additional uh, continuation pattern that really uh, took place at about uh, 5 p.m. yesterday afternoon when we saw a close below the body of that candle that came in at 11 o'clock yesterday. That said, okay, time to be uh, cautious out here. Another wide-ranging bar that came in at midnight. We've seen a bit of a uh, bounce here, but uh, you know, not enough of uh, bullish action just yet to go ahead and take the uh, trade. This might set up more of the .786 Gartley buy pattern, and we're going to really be paying attention, Tom, to the actual daily chart. So first, let's take a look at the .786 Gartley buy pattern. That would take you if so. If and really, because it's gotten down below that point six one eight pretty well, it sets up ninety two oh nine ish as the range. That's the point seven eight six level. However, uh, at the end of today's trading session, uh, it might be that this point six one eight currently was the uh, proper buy point because as I switch over to the uh, daily chart, uh, if you were to uh, finish the session looking like this, trading out right at about ninety three twenty six ninety three twenty five, you would have a hammer candle. And uh, so on a, a daily, candle is going to always be more powerful than a 60-minute or a 30-minute or a 50-minute, just like on a weekly chart. Weekly candles are going to have more priority. So right now, I like the uh, look of the daily candle, but we have a lot of time left in the uh, trading session. If you are in the uh, trade out here, what I wouldn't do is I wouldn't let it uh, close below the low of the trading session, which is 92.55. Does that help you? Yeah, uh, Steve, do you put these types of trades out on your newsletter? I, I, I do. You know, the, uh, the the trade that we put out there, the last currency trade that we put out there has been the Great British Pound. Mm -hmm. uh, we put on the uh, trade. We uh, identified exactly where the uh, resistance was, when to take off uh, half of our profits out there. And so on the uh, currency side, when I see a trade set up, I uh, make people aware of it, show the pattern, and so forth. Send out alerts, whatever. Yeah, if the, if there is an alert that yeah, is required, right, right, yeah, right. yeah, absolutely. But in this case here, in this case here, you know, you're you're we're trading we're trading Gartleys and butterflies. So right. ahead of time, we know what the price projection is, and then it's just really a matter of the setup. Right. Okay. All righty. All right. 
That's great. Who are you taking this weekend? Are you taking Louisville? Who are you taking? <laughs> well, I do have uh, I do have uh, Louisville going all the uh, way hey, yeah, out yeah. there. So that you know, a heck of a coach, yeah. Yeah, he he is. I sure would have loved to have been in the uh, locker room on uh, Saturday during the half just to just to hear how he was inspiring you know his team. So uh, they're they're a good team out there, and, and I, I'm looking. Uh, you know, I, hopefully what we see is a, a Michigan Louisville uh, game out there. And uh, you know, and I'd love to be able to uh, see a good game. You know, going yeah, down to yeah, totally. yeah, yeah. And that that uh, game that Michigan was in when they uh, came back, you know, uh, which was on what Friday night was it Friday Friday night's game? Yeah, yeah that was, was an yeah. Imp- that was an incredible uh, game. So uh, so uh, you know they might have a little destiny out there. They got they've got a good belief system, that's for sure. Oh yeah, so, absolutely. Yeah, we'll see how it plays out. Okay. How about yourself? Who are, who are you taking? I'm taking Louisville. Yeah, I'm taking right. Louisville. Yeah, Patino, he just seems to win those big ones. You know, at least he gets yeah. in the Final Four. You know, he's always yeah. even when he was at Kentucky. You know, yeah, yeah, he's so. a good coach. He's a good coach. Yeah. Thanks for okay. calling, Tom. Have a great uh, Tuesday. Okay. Thanks, Steve. All right, eight seven seven nine two seven six six four eight. We get back. We're going to go see how these markets are going to pop, and whether or not they're going to drop. We'll be right back, folks. Well, it's always better when we're together. Yeah, it's always better when we're In quiet markets, investors search for new trading opportunities. We'd like to introduce you to a new product that provides opportunities even in flat markets. Nadex, the North American Derivatives Exchange, is a new and innovative Chicago-based exchange registered with the Commodity Futures Trading Commission. And unlike most other exchanges, Nadex allows you to trade directly through them with direct market access when using their trading platform. Nadex never charges a fee to use their platform, which even includes real-time charts and full customization capability. Nadex's unique short-term binary options allow traders and investors to capitalize on strategies even when the underlying markets are quiet. Nadex's innovation has allowed them to come up with a line of unique trading products that are unavailable anywhere else. See how it works at Nadex.com. That's N-A-D-E-X.com or click on the Nadex banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Futures and options trading involves risk and may not be appropriate for all investors. Just recently, on December 28th, Market Insight subscribers were advised to go along the QQQ, the NASDAQ 100 ETF, on December 28th at 63.91. And only two trading days later, after a huge jump in the markets, Market Insight subscribers were advised to sell the QQQ at 66.64 for a $2.73 or 4.27% profit to start off 2013. At the same time, Tom O'Brien had advised his clients looking for a more leveraged trade that they could have initiated a position in the QLD, the ProShares Ultra QQQ ETF, and over the same two trading days, Market Insight subscribers were able to lock in a $4.48 profit or an 8.47% gain in just one trade. Get your two-week free trial to Market Insights today by visiting the front page of TFNN.com. Cancel at any time during your free trial and pay nothing. Don't miss out on the next great trading opportunity in 2013. Act today. Tom O'Brien's weekly newsletter, The Gold Report, has helped subscribers for over 10 years navigate the high-risk world of exploring and producing gold companies. And now's a great time to sign up for a free month-long trial to see the kind of insight that Tom delivers for his subscribers on a weekly basis. Every Monday, Tom O'Brien issues a quick update on the metal market, giving you his take on the HUI, XAU, GLD, dollar bonds, and much more. Tom follows Monday's update with a full gold report which is delivered to subscribers Tuesday afternoon with detailed coverage of 24 separate gold or metal stocks as well as another 10 to 15 stocks that he lets you know are on his potential watch list. Get your month-long free trial to the gold report today by visiting the front page of TFNN.com. Don't spend another year navigating the metal markets on your own. Act early in 2013 and make the most of your gold and metal market investments. Daryl Martin coined the phrase diagnostic trading and we're happy to announce that his diagnostic box spread analyzer has finally been released. 
The Diagnostic Box Spread Analyzer helps you easily identify the best box spreads on Nadex in seconds, plus you receive access to the diagnostic deviation levels as well as step-by-step -step training videos teaching you how to trade Nadex spreads so you can quickly master the mechanics of this simple yet powerful trading instrument. By pulling live data from the Nadex Exchange, the Diagnostic Box Spread Analyzer does all the math for you, calculating risk, reward potential, distance to break even for both outright spreads and spreads used to hedge the underlying market. Visit the front page of TFNN.com today to get your two-week free trial to Daryl Martin's Diagnostic Box Spread Analyzer and gain access to the valuable information it can provide when trading the Nadex Box Spreads. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Mm, it's always better when we're together. Yeah, we'll look at them stars when we're together. Well, it's always better when we're together. Yeah, it's always better when we're together. To the races. We got the Dow up 56 points, trading out at 14,628. Composite up 18, trading at 3257. SP's up 7, trading at 1569. It's at 1576 watch that we are on, uh, still on uh, pace to, uh, you know, watch to see if, in fact, the SP's can get up there. Russell 2000 up 5 points, up about 6 tenths of a percent. This morning, trading out at 944. Google on the uh, March higher, trading out at 6 bucks. Apple flat, trading up 16 pennies right now. You've got Humana. Humana up 8% this morning, uh, up $6.40. Google right behind them. Then you've got United Health Group, UNH up about 6%, up $3.40 out there. E Health, all the health stocks on fire. Aetna up about 4% as well. The largest uh, move we're taking a look at is uh, E Health Inc. E H. TH is the uh, ticker symbol. They're up 15%. We'll check in on that uh, stock chart. Urban Outfitters, uh, they are up uh, about, where is it? I just lost it. I had it. There we go. Up 6% this morning, up $2.36. We've got uh, GLD, the GLD trading out a buck 48 right now. Uh, Nordic America NAT uh, is, well, I don't know what that is on my system here. Uh, Rack Space RAX is down about a buck. Not a lot uh, really to the uh, downside out here of any significance. Our call number is 877-927-6648. Let's peek in on the uh, Great British Pound U.S. dollar. We were talking to Tom uh, from Tampa a little bit earlier about the uh, Japanese yen. So let's go stay with the uh, currency market here for the uh, moment. Let's take a look at the uh, Great British Pound U.S. dollar currency pair we've got the 30 minute chart out here what you are if you're watching on tiger tv you know i've got this very cool tool on uh, one of the uh, trading uh, charting packages that i use and it just simply automatically calculates the expansion and contractions of uh, swing points and the beauty there is that uh, now it rounds uh, to the uh, you know to the uh, nearest fibonacci number within a range it doesn't do a huge rounding out there uh, but uh, you know it's set so that we can easily identify the fibonacci numbers now when you have multiple fibonacci numbers coming together uh, at about the uh, same price level that's important it's important because it identifies which should be, in this case here, a strong area of support. And, of course, you can learn as much from a strong area of support when it fails as you can from when it actually works. Now, what we're taking a look at is you can see a 1.6, or maybe you can't, I'll describe it for you, uh, for those of you that are just listening in on the uh, radio, your mobile device. On the Great British Pound, you've got a, a swing point that came in on March 31st at about uh, 9.30 in the uh, evening. The price point there was 151.7. That was the uh, low. Then the uh, Great British Pound makes a uh, move higher, makes that move higher going into midnight uh, yesterday or this, uh, this, this evening, uh this morning, you know, when do you want to take a look at last night? Right at uh, midnight. That high was 152.57. If you take the difference between those two swing points and you multiply it times 1.618, that in essence is where the Great British Pound is traveling to. You would take that uh, dollar amount difference and you would subtract it from the swing point low that came in here on March 31st at 9.30. That low again was 151.7 out here. So you can see you've got a 1.6 weight expansion of that swing point. Also now, if we come back to a, uh, a little bit further left on the chart, 
We'll see a swing point low at about 11 in the morning on March 27th when you had the Great British Pound U.S. dollar currency pair trading at about the 150, 1509 level. So from that low to the high that came in at midnight, what we can see is we've got a .786 retracement. So that's powerful. You've got two lining up there. But we also have a .382 retracement off of a uh, swing point that takes us back into the uh, time frame here right as the uh, Great British Pound was really taking off topside. That was taking place back at about 6 in the morning all the way on March the uh, 14th out there. So you've got a .382 retracement, you've got a .786 level, and a 1.618. And on top of that, the icing on the uh, cake out here for the Great British Pound. Why this area should act as a uh, support level is because on the 30-minute chart, very much in the oversold territory. If this uh, breaks, which it most certainly can, uh, you know, then the uh, next level will go make a uh, run for the uh, lows that came in at 1030 on February, on March the uh, 27th. That low is 150.95 out there. And, you know, no real uh, A to B equals CD down of significance. So what we can see here is the A to B equals CD down pattern. I'll go ahead and turn this uh, indicator off. Now we can take a look at the potential if this area fails, where will price move to. And it'll just simply make that, you know, uh, like I said, a run for the uh, low of that swing point out there and probably just a tad lower, right around 150 Point nine, which is just below that swing point from 11 o'clock in the morning on March the 27th. That would be a 100% move of a move. On the 30-minute chart here, no bulls yet showing up inside. But you can see, you will see a intraday reversal here in the uh, Great uh, British Pound truly getting into oversold territory now let's go take a look at the uh, daily chart on the daily chart if you're listening yesterday you know what's so easy about this uh, trade out here in the currency pair was clearly knowing ahead of time where you're going to run into resistance and resistance clearly being marked if you're looking at our my screen here you're looking at the horizontal uh, level that was established out here going you all taking you all the way back into 2010 into september 7th of 2010 makes a uh, low on that day right around 150 1.529 six out there you can see a little bit lower low you know you can move this line up and down uh, just a tad if i move it up a bit you'll see the uh, swing point price uh, stopping back in october of 2011 october the 6th again that area being tested january 16th of 2012 again being tested here may the uh, 31st that became a very strong area of support that support was broken when old support gets broken it turns into resistance so it was very easy in taking this trade here knowing that you had the hammer cam which is what we're looking for on the uh, uh, Japanese yen trade today on a, a daily setup on the Great British Pound U.S. dollar. You then had that bullish engulfing. You then had to move higher. You knew that uh, it was going to run into resistance uh, up in the old uh, support level. That's what it did. It got up there back in the uh, March 22nd, March 25th uh, level. Uh, also, yesterday when we were talking about on uh, the show was really saying, hey, if you hadn't taken your profits here, or half of your profits, you really ought to, knowing that it's running into resistance. Now, if you got in at that hammer candle, that's a good entry price. No reason to uh, go ahead and take yourself completely out of the trade. You'd move the uh, stop so that you wouldn't uh, take any, you'd, you'd at least break even on the uh, second portion of your trade out there. But certainly the importance here, not whether or not you're in this trade or not, but is really being able to identify those horizontal horizontal levels of resistance and support out there so that you can use those to your advantage because then you are really setting yourself up with the right expectation level. Likewise, uh, should the uh, Great British Pound move above this area, that would also then create some additional strong support and say that the move downside was a false break to the uh, downside. So that is on the uh, Great British Pound. Let's go, as long as we're in the uh, currency market, let's go take a look at the uh, euro, see what we've got going on inside the uh, queen here. Uh, the Queen right now trading out at 128.16, and uh, that wants a lower price. Now, what the uh, Euro did here, it made a uh, about a one to a little over a one to one. A to B equals C D up. That's coming off of the uh, lows down here at 10:30 in the morning on March 27th. That price point being 1.2750. That was your A point. Your B point came in at 12 noon on March 28th up at the 1.2843 level. Makes a uh, retracement. Looks like about a 0.786 retracement out there uh, as it makes a uh, low coming in at 10 o'clock in the evening on March 31st. Makes a one one, a little over one to one. A to B equals C, D out there, a little dark cloud cover candle coming in at uh, midnight here. And now what we're seeing is just simply a normal retracement. It's below the .382 level, and the retracement I'm referring to is going from the low 
uh, on uh, March 27th at 10.30 in the morning, 1.27501, all the way up to the high at midnight, right out at the 128.76 level. You can see price down below the uh, .382 level, so it is headed to the 127.98 area inside the uh, euro, at least on the 30-minute chart. Doesn't mean that it won't head uh, lower out there, but that is just simply the normal retracement that it should make. If we go take a look at the uh, daily chart uh, out here, what we have drawn, as you can see, we've got that old level support level one. Support level one was really the uh, swing point low from December the 7th out there. Once it broke through that, what we've seen is this area act as a resistance point. In fact, if you take a look at if you, if you take a look at that number, the low is one point two eight seven five. That's going back to a December seventh. And so far this morning you had a move up to one point two eight seven six. You gotta love that. That is a strong resistance now inside the euro, a U.S. dollar. You can see not really in on the daily chart. It certainly is not in uh, oversold uh, condition at all. That says to me that the euro should move down and test that support two level. That will take it all the way back into the swing point of November 13th, right around the 1.2659 area. That is on the uh, euro. Now let's at least go over and uh, complete this and uh, go ahead and put the icing on the cake, and then we'll go to Lou in Nashville. Let's go take a look at the... The U.S. dollar uh, index out here. The U.S. dollar index is the weekly chart. We're showing the trend line coming off of the high from June 11th all the way down. The next uh, touch point was our uh, July 27th level. That's that black line. You know, it works the same way in horizontal resistance and support as it does on diagonal. In this case here, what the U.S. dollar index did, as you can see, it broke through last week, got above that level. Even though there's a point seven eight six Gartley here uh, this morning, uh, going and testing uh, that uh, black line, going and testing you know that area that used to be resistance, and now looks like it is becoming support on the U.S. dollar index. Let's go out to uh, Lou in Nashua. Lou, thanks for calling. Thanks for holding. How are you this morning? Good. How are you? Excellent. Uh, you wanted to okay. take a look at corn as the ticker symbol. Oh, is that correct? That's right. T uh, tell us what you're doing and and how I can help you. Uh, I'm not doing anything yet. I'm just wondering if there's a buy down here. Now, is this I'm uh, I'm a, I have never traded this uh, ETF. Uh, I don't know if it, is this an ETF corn. Mm -hmm. It is, and is that's it's probably the ETF for corn itself. Yeah. It is. Okay. Well, if we just take a look at uh, corn, what I would be doing is uh, paying attention to the actual uh, commodity uh, contract to see what's going on. But let's at least take a look at corn and see what it is that we have here. So this morning, or yesterday, it gaps down a bit. So uh, that gap down, uh, that was not a, uh, that was certainly not a uh, bullish sign. So you're looking to get in. Uh, let's go take a look at uh, relative uh, strength out here. Uh, so let's also take a look at just uh, retracements, A to B equals CD pattern. So first thing, Lou, let's take a look at the retracement on this ETF coming off of June 15, 3524, all the way up to the high out here back in August of 2012. Looks like it wants to get down to about 3898. That's at least the point seven eight six uh, area. But what I would do if you're looking to get into this is I would wait for some kind of a bullish uh, candle uh, signal out here. You actually broke through a, a level of uh, support on, uh, looks like on Thursday it did that. You had this little three-candle Morningstar configuration. This should have held. That was a low of March 7th. That was a price point of 41.29. You kind of, uh, it, it moved through there with some volume. So sliced right uh, through that level and I wouldn't enter into this equity here, this ETF, until you saw some kind of a bullish reversal signal. And I don't see that uh, at the uh, moment. So I would sit tight. Uh, the uh, let me I don't the uh, contract for corn. Uh, let me see if I can actually find that uh, very quickly. The uh, symbol out here on my screen. Maybe I'll be able to do it during the uh, break. Or something which is in a couple minutes, and but what I would really be doing, uh, Lou, is I would really be paying attention to the uh, current futures contract for corn to make any trading decision versus just make it off of this ETF. Gotcha. Thank you. Alrighty. Hey, yeah. you betting? You betting? Thanks for calling out there. Uh, right now we've got the uh, Dow future. Dow future. We've got the Dow trading up 64 points out there. Thanks, Z Z C Z C is the uh, ticker symbol. So we'll go take a look at that. But first, let's go look in. Let's go check in on uh, gold and silver and uh, light sweet uh, crude out here. 
as we take a look at uh, gold trading off on nineteen dollars right now down one percent and gold actually breaking through this little uh, trend line uh, here that's coming off of the uh, lows from uh, february the uh, 21st out there and also testing the uh, swing point here well the the actual swing point that it is uh, was trading into and it is testing is that uh, level from February 21st. The high is 1584. You're trading at 1583.50. That's going to be key today as to whether or not you see a rejection of the top of that swing point. Volume there, 260,000 uh, contracts. So we'll uh, be paying attention to the price point of 1584.40. I did peek in on the uh, commitment of traders data and the uh, the big money out there. They're not. They're relentless. They are not giving up. They are believing that uh, gold is putting in a uh, bottom here. The same thing with silver. But let's go check in on silver. Silver breaking through a uh, swing point here uh, this morning. That swing point is the uh, March 1st uh, level. Uh, that swing point had uh, 47,000 contracts in it. Uh, so far, you've traded 26,000 contracts. You're below that level. You're below the .786 Gartley buy pattern. That says now let's go ahead and actually just eliminate this from my screen here for the uh, moment so let's come back and take a look at it let's uh, get rid of that low since we're down through that and now let's come take a look at the actual swing point so inside silver you've got a, a swing point out here from june 28th we'll draw the uh, line across there we'll go ahead and put that in uh, red as soon as we can and that price point there on that swing point the high is 2712 the low is 2610 Volume out there is 46,000 contracts. Had a, a nice bullish engulfing candle. Bulls were inside this uh, trade back in uh, June, June 29th, out there as it came in off of the uh, bottom. So we'll see what silver does as it moves into that swing point low from June 28th. 877-927-6648. Dow's up 66. S&P's up about 8. We'll be right back. You take a hands-on approach to managing your investments, and whether you're bullish or bearish on U.S. Treasuries, the ETFs from Direction Shares are there to help you magnify your perspective. Bull ETFs for a rising market and bear ETFs for a falling market. Direction Shares gives you the tools for both sides of the trade. Discover how we can help at DirectionShares.com today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the Direction Shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about Direction Shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact Direction Shares at 800-851-0511. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors such as traders and active investors employing dynamic strategies. Investors in the fund should understand the consequences of seeking daily investment results, understand the risk of shorting and intend to actively monitor and manage their investments. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. David White's newsletter, The Technology Insider, is focused like a laser on finding the next big things in technology. If you had invested only $10,000 in Microsoft in 1986, you'd have been a millionaire by 2000. Disruptive technology like Microsoft's is the key to these massive long-term profits, and The Tech Insider is the vehicle from TFNN to capitalize on these opportunities. This is the go-to newsletter that identifies, monitors, and profits on mostly little-known cutting-edge companies with great long long-term prospects. David's experience is as an inventor of Emmy-winning animation products for TV and Hollywood that propelled a company public. Match that with 14 years as a full-time trader, and he's uniquely qualified to guide you through the light-speed world of ever-evolving high-tech. If you're ready to ride the next big technology bull market for less than $40 per month, log on to TFNN.com and get your two-week free trial to the Technology Insider. Get in on the ground floor of the next big thing today. Recently, Basil Chapman has had some outstanding trades in his newsletter, The Opening Call. Each morning by 9 a.m., Basil uploads his newsletter to the TFNN servers so that his subscribers can access his expert trading advice. Basil gives his take on the direction of key indices and updates any active trades that his subscribers are currently in. Just recently, Basil's subscribers closed out a short position in Chipotle Mexican Grill, CMG, for more than an $86 product per share, over a 20% gain in just one position. If you'd like to try out Basil Chapman's newsletter, The Opening Call, then visit the front page at TFNN.com and click Trading Newsletters. There you'll find Basil's newsletter, The Opening Call, where you can request a free sample copy. 
Also, don't miss Basil's program, the Tiger Technician's Hour, Monday through Friday, 11 a.m. Eastern on TFNN. Tom O'Brien's weekly newsletter, The Gold Report, has helped subscribers for over 10 years navigate the high-risk world of exploring and producing gold companies. And now's a great time to sign up for a free month-long trial to see the kind of insight that Tom delivers for his subscribers on a weekly basis. Every Monday, Tom O'Brien issues a quick update on the metal market, giving you his take on the HUI, XAU, GLD, dollar, bonds, and much more. Tom follows Monday's update with a full gold report which is delivered to subscribers Tuesday afternoon with detailed coverage of 24 separate gold or metal stocks as well as another 10 to 15 stocks that he lets you know are on his potential watch list. Get your month-long free trial to the gold report today by visiting the front page of TFNN.com. Don't spend another year navigating the metal markets on your own. Act early in 2013 and make the most of your gold and metal market investments. Catch the Money Masters as they teach you the art of mastering money when it comes to trading and investing. Next on TFNN. Mm, it's always better when we're together. Yeah, we'll look at them stars when we're together. Well, it's always better when we're together. It is, folks. The Dow's up 69 points right now. Trading out at 14,642. Composite trading out at 3262. That's up 23 points. That's up seven tenths of a uh, percent. You've got Apple's up uh, six bucks right now. Uh, Davida Healthcare is uh, the leader in the clubhouse, up eight dollars and uh, change. Let's go back and take a look at the. I've got the continuous contract for corn up on the uh, screen. If we take a look here, one of the things that we see made a uh, yesterday went ahead and completed an A to B equals CD down. Now it looks to me like on that A to B equals CD down, it's got further to go. Coming off of the uh, swing point high, going back to August of 2012, August 10th. Uh, out there, that's your A point. Your B point is the uh, low coming in on September 28th. Makes a retracement. That retracement there looking like about a point three eight two retracement. And uh, just, well, about a 50% retracement is uh, what it was yesterday. Completing 63.71 was the uh, A to B equals CD. Price projection 63.64. But volume uh, yesterday, big volume uh, inside this. Uh, no real bullish uh, candle today. That is nothing more than a uh, pause candle out there. With volume coming in, looks like more likely if we take a look at the uh, retracement out here, going from the uh, swing point low of June 1st all the way up to the high, uh, we'll see that 6135-ish, 59.94 really is more likely the area that uh, corn uh, will uh, travel to. At least there are no bulls in sight here, uh, not off of the last couple of uh, trading uh, sessions. Uh, let's go peek in on a couple of these stocks here as well that are moving and uh, grew. In fact, let's go take a look at this one stock chart here. I can't recall if... Uh, uh, if we were looking at it uh, last week on uh, Thursday, uh, PVH, or maybe it was uh, somebody that was calling in on the uh, stock chart. The uh, ticker symbol is PVH, and uh, PVH, let me uh, pull it across the uh, screen. I don't know why it's not coming to memory here. It is, uh, well, I'm not sure, just uh, well, PVH Corp. Well, how about that? But let's take a look at PVH Corp. Uh, the reason why I'm bringing this up is we were taking a look at, and it may have been a, a stock that just simply had moved down uh, last week on uh, Thursday, and it was moving down with volume, 4.9 million shares is what it ended up trading, and that was moving down into a, a sign of strength that had 5.9 million shares. So at the uh, end of the uh, day, it still ended up lightening up, having lighter volume. And yesterday, notice how it went ahead and it tested uh, this uh, gap here, the October 31st breakout. The low of that was 105.01, and the high was uh, uh, 112.47. And uh, now, one of the other things that was, it's hard to figure out on this uh, equity, is this uh, trading session from February 13th. Massive volume in its 17 million shares and no wide price spread. You know, looks like right now, is that a buyer or a seller? We'll see if that's a buyer or seller as this gap really gets tested. We know that there was a sign of strength uh, right here on October the uh, 31st. The level's been only tested once, so don't step into it. We're not seeing any kind of uh, bullish uh, candlestick. You know, if you see a bullish candlestick, that'd be at least a little bit different uh, scenario because then at least you could go ahead and uh, draft behind the uh, bulls out here 
Uh, we can see this equity does have uh, some uh, gaps here. It's got a gap going back to August 27th of 2012 as well, and that's on uh, PVH uh, Corp out here. So uh, did a pretty decent job. You know, had some volume again last week on uh, Thursday, uh, but that was uh, coming into a swing point coming into a gap up, and it was doing it still on some lighter volume. And yesterday was really the test. That was a test of 1.6 million shares going against that breakout of 5.9. So that was on PVH uh, Corp. Folks, if you're off to start your terrific Tuesday, have a, a great day. Thanks so much for being here. Remember this. Always remember, you have an amazing power within yourself, and that power is so strong, it'll create a life of abundance, cure incurable diseases, build billion-dollar businesses, paint magnificent masterpieces, but most of all, create fantastic, loving families. Thanks so much for being a part of the TFNN family. Have a great Tuesday, folks. Look forward to seeing you soon. Take care. Let me tell you something, folks. I have people coming up to me saying, I just can't believe the amount of work that Steve does on his newsletter. And I says, I absolutely agree. That is a recent clip from the Money Masters show that Tom and I do each day at TFNN. My newsletter service, Mastering Probability, is much, much more than a newsletter. Yes, it's outperformed the S&P 500 by 100% during the last 15 months. But more importantly, it's an extraordinary education, a roadmap for your success. And it's yours risk-free for the next 30 days. Just go to the homepage of TFNN.com and click on my name, Steve Rhodes, and then Mastering Probability. Because everyone needs a success strategy. For most, it's a competitive edge, the will to win, the drive to overcome any obstacle. Whatever you call it, winners find a way. Find your way to mastering probability today, because your journey to extraordinary rewards is just one click away.